We've been full-time RVers since 2009 and travel with our two fur babies, Missy and Mason. As we travel around this great country, we've had to get creative with various ways to earn income. So not only we're going to show you our destinations, great places to see and do things, but we're able to show you how we make income so maybe you can too. Looking for a fun way to exercise your mind and body? Try geocaching, an outdoor activity that combines hiking with a tech-aided treasure hunt. The name derives from a mashup of geography and cache, and the game itself transcends territorial, political, gender, and age boundaries. Instead of a map where the X marks the spot, you use an app on your smartphone and your powers of observation. Instead of hunting for a buried chest, you're looking for a cache hidden in an eco-friendly site above ground. We were out today trying this and that is one of the things that we love doing with our friends Brittany and Ed. You guys should try it too. Out looking for another geocache. Let's go follow them. Um, Ed, Ed and Brittany are ahead of me and um, they'll probably find it before I get there, but here we go. What's the clue? A small bottle. This is so much fun. We are so glad we were introduced to this. All you need to do is download and open the geocaching app to see caches near you. And then you select a geocache to find the geocache. Once you select Geo Cache, go outside and use the app to navigate to it. And don't forget to bring your pen so you can sign the logbook inside the geocache. We also put our card for our channel in there. We are timeless. Waves washing over the sand on my feet. Time is an ocean. First night staying in a parking lot, there's Ed and Brittany over there, and Cracker Barrel right there. It's going to be an interesting night. We got our cone out so no one sights wipes our steps. We should be good. Night guys. Did you realize geocaching can be done in a big city too? Our overnight stop, we decided to take a look at the geocaching app and lo and behold, we found several in the area. Oh, come on, Ed, get my boat. <laughs> Dora, what did you find for the very first time? My first? Yeah. We're geocaching at the Cracker Barrel. I can't believe I found my first one. That wasn't even. I've seen that before we got to it. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, 
Well, you know it. Since we're already geocaching in a Cracker Barrel parking lot, we better go in and see if we can find something for dinner. We are timeless. 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 I'm standing still. We are timeless. When you're geocaching, don't forget to kind of look at the beauty around you. This little hike that we took on this day looking for geocaches was fantastic. This was so much fun. This is an activity that we did while we were traveling back from North Dakota to go to Iowa before we head south. Next week video is going to be everything that we've been able to get completed while we're in Iowa. can have your big old house, pretty manicured lawn, beautiful bow window. I'ma take my metal box, all decked out, and go wherever the wind blows. You can do what you will, I'ma do what I please. There's more than one road to happy, I'm gonna get there in my RV.